Hi everybody, I'm Keith McGuire, Mark's behind the camera, and today I'm going to show you how to paint a tree. Now this tree is not a conifer, it's not a Christmas tree, this is a deciduous tree, so a broadleaf tree, so... Can you spell that? No! God, no! <laughs> the tree was deciduous. Anyway, this guy, you know, it's a broadleaf tree, a maple, an elm, uh, I'm not going to get that specific, but... This is going to be, this tree is probably a little bit of younger tree. It's not really old. It's not really tall. So I, I've given you all the little bits of background. I don't know if you can see the picture. Can you? Uh, it's it probably a little, a little light. light. Yeah, okay. But as I fill in, uh, we're going to do this quickly. This is, uh, this is just kind of like a study, a quick study. So can you put a little stick person next to the tree No, scale? no, no. Cow, yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start with. I just want to very briefly. Oh, I don't have a pencil. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to have the the light coming down in this direction. Usually, I put a little light bulb up there, but um, so that you can kind of get an idea of where the light. You do need to determine these kind of things to get a more realistic painting. The light from that corner behind the tree or in front of the tree. Oh, God, no. Jeez, that's a... You just made it difficult. All right. Well, um, I need to know if the shadow's going to come towards... It's going to be on the... It's going to be on this go lower... It's going to be... Uh, I'll show just you. Just paint the tree. Yeah, I'm just painting, okay? Let me do my job. Anyway, right now I'm pulling out uh, a little May green and a little bit of... I believe it's chrome green. I'm going to check my little color chart. So Keith's using his schminky pan paint. I am. Um, he's got his low Cornell brush. He's got a butcher tray, an enamel butcher tray, and he's got his arches, cold press. Is that 140 or 300? Pounds? This one's 140. Uh, the 300 would be a little more texture. Uh, this is fairly smooth, so not a lot of tooth, but it still holds the paint very well. A link where to buy any of the stuff that Keith is using is in the description below. Feel free to purchase from our links. We get a small commission as a thank you. You don't pay anymore. Or use that as a checklist to go find them at your local art center. Commercial done. All right, good. All right, I'm back. Um, so, I've. Uh, what I want to do is I'm not going to wet the entire area. I'm actually going to leave, I'm going to put a little light bit of color so you can kind of almost see what I'm doing. Almost see. Now, what I am doing is I'm putting a little bit of water on the paper. I'm just kind of dragging it. I don't want to hit every bit of, uh, I'm using the kind of the side of the brush, okay? And I don't want to hit every bit of the uh, interior of this tree. I want to leave some light shining through, okay? So, I've got some water. All right. And now I'm going to, I'm going to apply a lighter color first. I'm using the uh, May Green. This will represent the lighter color, the kind of the sunshiny side of the tree. So, as you can see, I break it up, break up the lines. We don't want to, you know, we don't want a little kid's tree, a ball with a, you know, a stick at the bottom. And if you can see what I'm trying to do is use little chunks of paint rather than, if you notice, I'm, they're almost like little squares that I'm applying applying the paint using almost like the whole side of my brush just so that it gives it uh, a little bit of shape that isn't like I said a big round tree you know a ball you'll also notice that I did not fill in every bit I left some white because I want some air to go through the tree you know rarely is a tree other than a mango tree which is a ball with a stick coming down. Uh, all trees you can kind of see through. 
I, all I grew was mango trees growing up. That's exactly it. When I saw the mango tree, I, I lived in Hawaii for a little bit, and uh, when I saw a mango tree, I about fell over laughing. Because it is, it's seriously just a ball with the, with the stick coming down. Huge trees, though. Beautiful. All right. Oh, no. I'm Trumpifying, ain't I? It, it was a beautiful tree. Very precious. All right. All right, so now I'm about to put in my middle value. So I'm 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 gonna I'm going to create a little darker green, and it's I'm doing this while it's still wet, so that it kind of blends. So the darker green is that just more pigment of the may green? Or no. Or did you mix something? I did mix. Uh, did mix uh, this time I mixed in a little permanent green olive with the uh, May green so as you can see it's, it's it's not too dark okay and again I don't want to I don't want to kill all my lights okay so again I'm still I'm just using it's kind of fun I use kind of like the side of the brush rather than sitting here trying to carefully paint things in. So it's more of a just a happy dragging. Oh, there's a term for you. All right. My students want me to write a book so that they can... Actually, a dictionary of Keith McGuire terms. Or Keithisms. Yeah, exactly. Many are afraid of them. All right. Probably nobody can spell them. Or, or pronounce them half the time. Um... All right, now I want to get a little more value in here. I want the shadow to really kind of shine shine through. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to grab a little bit of uh, cerulean blue. And again, I'm going to grab that May green. And I'm going to create a little deeper color. And again, while it's still wet, I'm going to just kind of come through here and I'm trying to, you'll notice that this side of the tree is going to have a little more value on it. As I come up and around, it'll probably be a little less on this side, a little, little lighter, a little brighter. Okay. okay. Now, each little chunk of the tree also has a front and a back to it so I'm gonna bring some of this value up through here there's still a little dark on the top too okay all right so maybe a little more down here now you notice I, I left a little bit of air here and there Okay, now, at this point, I can try this. While that's kind of drying up a little bit, I am actually going to, I'm actually going to take a little bit more green. I'm going to add a little bit of red to it so I get some nice, dark, dark, green so that's the the red is the complementary color now I don't need a ton of this but I want to use a little bit of this just to kind of break up the color of the tree a little bit so while it's drying I'm adding a little more a little more shadow here and there Just because I'm a stinker, which green and which red did you use? Oh, I used the, I did, I mixed that, um, um, the um, cerulean blue and may green that I, I mixed it with a little bit of red. Just, uh, just straight red? Or uh, it's a, I'm sorry, it's a cad red, cadmium red. So the, uh, you know, the complementary of green is red. And that's what, that's how you create grays of colors that you're working on. We so did a whole video on using complementary colors to create shadows that are realistic and wonderful. Uh, so check out our old videos for that. Uh, the thumbnail has uh, spheres 
that Keith painted to give the illustration of creating depth and shadow. Right now I'm experimenting just a tiny bit. I want to add just a tiny bit of blue. This is um, ultramarine blue. I'm just uh, wanting to push a little of that color in just so the tree isn't all green. So I am kind of putting a little little more little uh, another color into the into the tree just to kind of break it up a little bit more. So right now I kind of like that. I'm going to probably stop right there with the with the leaves and stuff. Very quickly, um, I'm going to grab my sepia which is a uh, kind of a brownish brownish black actually it is it's van dyke brown and black combined so and then i'm going to add a little um burnt sienna and just a tiny bit of the ultramarine blue and i'm just gonna pull me down a trunk real quick now I'm doing the dark side of the tree first, or what I perceive to be the dark side. All right, come to the dark side. Da, 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 da. All right, so as you can see, I want to leave a little bit of light on that uh, on that trunk. Okay, okay, and right now I'm just kind of dragging a little. A little bit of the root structure is kind of sticking out. Are you going to put this tree on dead grass? Or? Well, that's a tradition that I have started here at uh, Mr. Hicks's studio. If there ain't something dead in the picture, I'm not doing it right. All right, so now I'm going to grab the same color, but I'm going to just very lightly, it's going to be a little, not lightly, it's going to be a lighter value so that it seems like I'm getting a little light hitting the, the trunk of the tree so you get a little of the lighter side of this tree. Also, I'm going to come up now and, hmm, I don't know if I can do it quite yet, but I'm going to try. I'm going to bring a few of my branches out. Now, you don't, you break it up, you... Um, Notice that place where I said I wanted to leave a little air? That's where I'm kind of doing a couple of these branches. That's where DTE runs the power line. Exactly. The there would be a big U in this tree, actually, wouldn't there? Um, yeah, if you ever come out by my place in Celine, you can see many wonderful and strange trees down uh, the amazing Bemis Road. It's like bonsai, but not as pretty. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. Uh, make you cry every time that you see those trucks come out. You're going, oh, God, what are you going to do now? Anyway, so part of the fun of doing a tree, too, if you'll... Um, I, you just you got to get some of the more delicate branches out to the end. And remember... Fat to thin, okay? Branches are fat to thin. Makes me crazy. I see people, they, they, they paint, and then all of a sudden the branch gets really fat at the, uh, at the end of it. And you're going, uh, okay, let's see if we can fix that, you know? I've gotten good at fixing stuff. All right. So as you can see, I like to put a few little dead branches here and there poking out of the tree. Okay. And, you know, I can, uh, it's too wet for me to actually get too many more branches in here. But I think this, this kind of gets you close to what, what I've been working on here. So we're going to, we're going to set it up here. Holy crap. I think I got some dead grass. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm just going to have it kind of behind the tree a little. Yeah, because the shade from the tree wouldn't have made that grass stay fresh and green. Well, 
That's actually something I didn't even address. Thank you very much. But now I have to. Anything to make your life easier? Yeah. So now I'm gonna <laughs> now I'm gonna add a shadow. Just because Mr. Hicks is there to make me look bad. Alright, so basically. I'm just going to take the burnt sienna and a little bit of yellow ochre and push it up under the tree a little. A little more burnt sienna. All right, and a little bit of the um, uh, sepia again. I used a little bit more of that again just because I used it somewhere else. Alright, so, what do you think? Good. Call it quits? Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, um, we've done videos on sky and things, and we'll do other little elemental pieces. These are the, the idea of this wasn't to, here's a finished painting that you're going to hang on the wall. This was a, a study in how to paint a tree so that when you have a painting with sky, trees, water, and all the other fun stuff, your tree looks good. Yeah, I hope so. I um, don't don't overdo it. Just relax. Let the paint do some of the work for you. The one thing about watercolors, the one really fun thing about watercolors, is the paint will do unexpected things. Go with it. Try it. Play with it. Have fun with it. Okay. Um, experiment as often as you can. Uh, next tree we do, we're going to do some uh, 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 conifers, Christmas trees. Uh, this is uh, this is because it's happy in spring and summer, early summer, and I thought we'd do something a little on the light side. So thank you very much. Take care. Anything Subscribe else? To the channel. Uh, leave us a comment if you have any questions or. Share links to your work. We'd love to see it. Yes. And uh, materials, again, are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.